Hello everyone. Again, I am back with one interesting scenario-based multiple choice question related to the applied aspects of biochemistry. So today's multiple choice question is: A Middle Eastern family presents for evaluation because their infant son died in the nursery with severe hemolysis and jaundice. The couple had two prior female infants who are alive and well. and the wife relates that she lost a brother in infancy with severe hemolysis which is induced after viral infection till now we can understand that only male childs are affected the physician suspects glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency implying defective synthesis of which of the following compounds so that is the description part now let's see what are the options options are a deoxyribose and nadp b glucose and lactate c lactose and nadph d ribose and nadph and e sucrose and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide over here physician suspects glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency which is also known as the g6pd deficiency it is inherited as a x link recessive disease so mostly males are affected and this glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency is caused by deficiency of glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme this glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme is the rate limiting enzyme for the hmp shunt pathway that is hexose monophosphate shunt pathway now this hmp shunt pathway is the alternate route for the oxidation of glucose apart from glycolysis and it has a two significance This HMP shunt pathway has a two significance. It is required for the synthesis of one NADPH and two ribose sugars. So the correct answer over here will be the ribose and NADPH. As there is a deficiency of this G6PD deficiency, so it will imply the defective synthesis of these two compounds, that is ribose and NADPH. And this NADPH, we all know that it is required for the maintenance of the rbc membrane integrity as well as it protects the cell from the effect of oxidative stress as well as effect of reactive oxygen species so as in this condition nadph is deficient so this rbc cell membranes are more vulnerable for the damage caused by the oxidative stress as well as from the peroxides so there will be the more hemolysis and ultimately the jaundice so that will be the sign and symptoms of this g6pd deficiency another characteristic uh, thing related related to the g6pd deficiency is g6pd deficiency attacks are precipitated by various drugs like anti malarial drugs like primaquine alpha drugs and if there is a consumption of sour beans another important thing related to the g6pd deficiency is g6pd deficiency offers resistance against malaria infection so that is all about today's video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe biochemistry basics by dr amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it thank you